Hey everybody, it's your favorite nobody from Canada here, Powerhouse 96, back with another Powerhouse review segment. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Sidewinder USB Fighter Pad. Now, it's taken me a very long time to find one of these because I live in Canada, so I don't have as much tech as the States does in like Silicon Valley and shit. So, it takes a lot more. Uh, Time to find oddball stuff like this. I finally found it at a value village a couple of weeks back now. Um, so, and I've always wanted to do a review on it, and now I have the time because I've graduated. So, no further ado, let's play some Galaxy on the Microsoft Sidewinder. Now, first, I wanted to explain how I set up the controller using the config option on the Fuchs. NES emulator. I set the A obviously being A and the B obviously for B and B and the X for a Turbo A and the Y for Turbo B. Uh, those who did not play video games back then, the turbo buttons are just basically faster functions. You can get through your level. Let's so say you're playing Metroid and you want to run faster, you can hit Turbo B and get through the game faster. Technically, it skipped a couple of frames. Probably wouldn't look as good in HD as some other people would think, so it's probably best that I record this anyway like this. As you can see, I have my new video game set up back here. With all my video games neatly organized. Enough of me blabbling. Let's play some video games. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I hit the start button is the big button right here, and the select button is the smaller button. So, as you can see, just playing a demo, so... Galaxy by Namco. I don't know why they spelled it Namcot. I'm assuming this was like a knockoff cartridge from like China or something. Because I know it wasn't officially released even by Tenji here in the States. Yeah. I haven't beat the default high score. Never been really good at this game. It's harder, it's a lot harder. See if I can, if I can shoot it without looking at it. It's like I'm not looking at the screen. Hey! Wait, I haven't lost it. Let's just look at you guys. Oh, well, oh, that fuck. Take back what I just finished. <laughs> um, I will say, at first, uh, it does take some use to get your hands used to this controller, but as soon as you get used to it, it's a phenomenal controller. I use it for every emulation I put on here, not just my Fuchs em emulator as you see here, uh, but I use it for my Sega Genesis emulator, uh, and, um, yeah, I guess you could say this is more of a review for the emulator. I guess you could say it's a... Wait, this would be my first double review. Now there's some fucking com... Whoa! Alien. Ah! Bullets! Bullets! Bu Should just focus on the game. Can't do both at the same time. Keep it level two. Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> Level 2, let's do this shit. I gotta admit, this is a very good, even if this was a Chinese knockoff, it's a very good. Fuck! Um, yeah. So let's, let's, let's open up another file. I'm just gonna go to my computer in the corner there and, uh, open up another file. Okay, what do we got here? I'm hitting open ROM. As you can see, I have my ROMs in the ROMs folder. Whoa, there's so many good games here. Let's play some good old Pac-Man. Now this one is an officially licensed uh, cartridge by Tengen. Uh, Tengen was a side division of um, Atari at the time. Uh, basically, Nintendo didn't want anything to do with Atari, so Atari decided to open up a side division where they made their own cartridges for Nintendo called Tengen. 
If you want more information, I highly recommend you watch the history of the video game, or the video game invasion if you want more information about Tengen. Really good thing. Actually, I plan to post the full, I actually have it transferred from VHS. I do plan to post the full, full video for free without monetization, so stay tuned for that. like my calling. Watch how good I am at this. Bam, bam, bam. Look down the juice! Yeah, I also need to do for practice. Uh, just use the blood in here. No, no. Oh, fuck you, Pinky. Fuck you. I'm trying to get up there, but it's not being responsive, probably because it's a bit older. Oh yeah, you can be very pacific. Come on, up, 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 No, no, no! That was a poor decision. I'm very disappointed with myself right now. Okay, let's try this shit again. Bap, 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 bap. Up, motherfucker, up. Down, motherfucker, down, motherfucker, down! This I never mind! Jesus Christ! That was way too close! Holy bap and buttholes! Oh man, I gotta eat these motherfuckers. Eat these mofos! Oh shit. I didn't do so good there. Well, overall, my thoughts on this controller are pretty simple. Um, it it looks to the human eye, it does look very uncomfortable, but I can I can say from extenuous use that this controller surpasses as a good emulator controller. I wouldn't recommend this for actual gaming, I still would say 360 controller, uh, future segment uh, to come on that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it helps me a lot. Um, and until next time, this is Powerhouse, over and out.